Hello my creative peeps and welcome back to my channel for another video. Today we are doing the Take 5 Art Challenge for August. Um, this month's prompts were chosen by Just Me Creating in over there. And this month I'm really excited because there's a time limit. You guys may remember um, I did my own self-imposed time limit a while back on one of the prompt sets. I'll leave that video linked in a card up above so you can go check it out if you missed it. But uh, yeah, so let's just get into it. This month's prompts are one, finish in 15 minutes, two, leave some white space, three, use circles, four, use distress oxide or inks, and five, use blue. Now, of course, I'm gonna say right off the bat, if you don't have distress oxides or distress inks, just use whatever ink pad you have. If you don't have an ink pad, um, substitute for whatever you like. There's no reason you need to go out and buy these things or um, not participate in the challenge just because you don't have the exact um, tool that we're using. So, I have pulled out my Distress Oxides in a bunch of like green and blue shades. Um, my plan is to hopefully do some kind of abstract underwater thing. Um, so I have my washi tape to leave white space. That was all the prep I did, um, basically. I do have my heat gun out <laughs> um, so that I can use that. But other than that, we are going to get started. So I'm just gonna leave the timer over here so we can see it. Hopefully nobody texts me <laughs> while we're doing this. Actually, let's just do airplane mode just to like turn on so we don't get interrupted. All right, so let's get started. Now, if you have no idea what the Take 5 Art Challenge is, it's a monthly challenge I do with... Um, 11 other ladies and each month we get to choose a prompt and you just have to make some type of creative piece with that prompt um, and it's a lot of fun and we always encourage people to play along. It doesn't matter if it's the same month or you're doing last month's prompts or whatever. We just like it when you guys participate. So. Don't forget to tag me in whatever you create with these prompts so that I can see it. Um, and if you create a video, um, Kira, the creator of this challenge, has a playlist for each month on her channel, which she adds those to. So make sure you let one of us know so we can add it there. So I'm going to do... That was, that was scary. Already oh, messing things up. <laughs> so I think I'm going to do some dark blue at the top and then kind of work my way down because the sunlight hits. Um, I'm not even going to pick that up. And maybe a little bit down at the bottom. This is not a very big page. <laughs> I did not really think about that. Oh, what the hell. We'll put some there too. I kind of just want to use the excess back here just for fun. Okay, so we have our dark blue. We're not moving very fast, Leanne. I should have drank more coffee before I did this. Oh no! <laughs> this is going to be a messy one. Okay. Then we have... Let's just dry this real fast. Okay. 
And this is Tomoe River Paper I'm working on. This is my new um, creative journal, which if you're a patron, you've already seen this, but um, I finished my insert and this is what I'm using next. So three minutes in and we only have one color down. <laughs> All right, we can do this, Leah. stop talking it's because I'm concentrating so this is the lightest color and this is just a piece of acetate that I'm using um, I love using these to do my smooshing technique you can use just leftover um, packaging works really well for this and then this gorgeous sea turquoise color, which we are definitely doing. My plan is that the circle prompt will just be, um, we'll do little bubbles. If the, uh, if the piece is dry enough anyway. Why can't I get any in that spot? So we use the oxides. Now I really want there to be like a little bit of seaweed at the bottom. I feel like we may need a little bit of cracked pistachio. technique. I like this. There we go. So there's that. Oh, we still have nine minutes left. Is that mold? Gross. I don't even know what to do right now. to kind of look like little underwater plants. I'm just going to throw that one away right now. That's just... I 
really don't like this. Um, take this brush and see if I can just kind of liquefy this into so that it's more <gasps> Oop, I just stuck that in my drinking water oops This is one of the reasons I used a water reactive marker, to be honest. Because I figured I may not like it that much. think how could I how could I do that 15 minutes isn't a long time and while it's not you can do a lot in 15 minutes bring green down in here if the lights heading it and a little bit darker green still got three minutes a tad bit of brown down here. I mean, two minutes. <laughs> okay, and...
1 minute 45. I meant for those to look like bubbles, but they don't. We have 59 seconds. Super wet. I was close. I just have one piece of tape left. There we go. Oops. I think after this dries a little bit, I'm just going to draw a border and write a word down here. But I'm going to call it the 15 minutes because, you know, it's pretty much done. And the only reason um, I didn't do the stuff before I took the tape off is because it's still wet. But that is my take five for the month of August. I hope you guys have fun with the 15 minute challenge. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Please don't forget to check out all of the lovely ladies in the description box below for extra inspiration. Um, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care guys. Bye.